Hi, my name is Vijay Sharma, and I am a Senior Product Manager with Amazon Web Services. If you have several AWS accounts, it can be challenging to manage permissions and give users access to AWS resources across the accounts. Today, I will show you how AWS Single Sign-On, also known as AWS SSO, can help. AWS SSO makes it easy for you to grant permissions to AWS resources such as Amazon EC2 in multiple AWS accounts. You can also use AWS SSO to grant access to SAML-based applications such as Microsoft Office 365 and Salesforce. AWS SSO has three directory options for where you manage your users whom you want to grant access to AWS accounts and applications. You can create and manage users directly in AWS SSO, connect to an AWS managed Microsoft AD, or connect to an existing Microsoft AD in your data center using AD Connector. To get started, navigate to the AWS SSO console and go to the directory tab. If you don't have or don't want active directory, AWS SSO provides you a default directory that you can use. Otherwise, you can use active directory by connecting to AWS managed Microsoft AD or AD connector. This enables users to sign in with their AD credentials. Today, I will show you how to create users in the default AWS SSO directory. To add user, choose add user. Enter the user's email address, choose send email to user with password setup instructions option. Enter user's first and last name and display name. Choose next group. To scale administration, you can manage access using groups. Choose create group. Enter the group name and choose create. Select the user to add to the group and choose add user. Next create permission sets that will grant users permissions to AWS resources. A permission set is a collection of administrator-defined policies that define the level of access that users and groups have to an AWS account. Go to the AWS Accounts tab and switch to permission sets. Click Create Permission Set. You can use an existing job function policy or create a custom permission set. Here I will choose Custom Permission Set. I enter the permission set name and choose Attach AWS Managed Policies. In this permission set, I will choose Amazon EC2 Full Access and Amazon S3 Full Access manage policies to grant full access to Amazon EC2 and Amazon S3. Choose Create to create the permission set. Next, I will grant users this permission set to specific AWS accounts. Go to the AWS Accounts tab and switch to AWS Organizations tab you can see all the AWS accounts in your organization. Choose the accounts where you want to apply the permission set to the users. You can choose multiple AWS accounts. Next, choose Assign Users. Switch to Groups tab and select the group you created previously. Choose Next Permission Sets. Here, choose the permission set 
that you previously created. Choose Finish to grant the users in this group the permission set that gives full access to Amazon EC2 and Amazon S3 in the selected AWS accounts. When we created the user, we selected send email to user with password setup instructions. This is the email the user receives. The user selects accept invitation, which takes them to a set password page. They set their password and sign in to the user portal. Here, the user can select the AWS account icon to view all AWS accounts that they have permissions to. There are two accounts that this user has permission to. For each account, the user can also see the list of roles that they can assume in the account. Let's choose a role and choose Management Console. The user is now in the AWS Management Console. The user can now manage Amazon EC2 and Amazon S3 resources. The user can navigate back to the user portal and switch to a different account. From the user portal, the user can also get temporary security credentials for short-term access to AWS CLI. Thanks for joining us. In this video, I showed you how to use AWS Single Sign-On service to enable your users to access multiple AWS accounts. For more information, please visit our website.